the totally rad story of a most unprecedented regular dude, a very righteous babe, and a gnarly old magician who used to live in the most bodacious spread inside San Andreas Fault. So, Jake is just this regular dude, right? And Allison is this very righteous babe, right? And Zebediah is this gnarly old magician who used to live beneath the surface of Earth, right? So that's the story. Unless you want me to elaborate totally. For sure. I knew you would. Okay, so Jake is just this regular dude who has this thing for ri a very righteous babe, Allison. And the two of them meet this gnarly old magician named Zebediah, who actually happens to be this creature person exiled from the underground world. Only, there's no way you're supposed to know that yet, okay? Anyway, Zebediah's magic is not your usual total bo bogus prestigidation that only a total bonehead would believe was real. No way. I mean, when's the last time the magician that your mom hired for your little sister's birthday party turned himself into an eagle, or conjured up a total major windstorm, or stopped time? Not too recently, right? For sure, Zebediah can actually do all that radical stuff. Only he can do a whole lot more than all that radical stuff, too. He can also change into a lion creature, or metamorphosize into this totally gagsome fish thing or cause bodacious boulders to fly around just to mention a few so jake and allison were impressed to the to the inth power this is totally rad so jake and allison were impressed to the inth power and zebediah felt this special connection to jake kind of a touchy feely thing without the touching or feeling the F? It's so hard to talk about these kind of feelings for sure, you know? <laughs> I should have read this first. I should have read this. I should have proofread this. I never would have thought that I needed to proofread a Nintendo manual for YouTube suitability. Well, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, major boom, for sure. Zebediah teaches Jake everything he knows, and Jake changes from a regular dude with marginal skateboarding skills to this reg really unprecedented regular dude with marginal skills. What is this? It literally repeated it. With marge, It repeated it. I'm going to read it again because I know you believe I messed it up. I didn't. It repeated it. Well, one thing leads to another, and before you know it, major boom, for sure. Zebediah teaches Jake everything he knows, and Jake changes from a regular dude with magical, with marginal skateboarding skills to this really unprecedented regular dude with marginal skateboarding skills who can change into an eagle, a lion, or a gag some fish thing, and who can also cause major environmental havoc with his newfound magical... This, this is page three, by the way. Powers. So Jake is just a whole lot more entertaining at parties and everything is excellent, right? Wrong. Little did Jake and Allison know, they had become... pre -bu What? Pubescent pawns in the persistent power politics of ideology? The math malfeasant underground menace who through mental malpractice and mesmerism who managed to impose the malevolent meanderings of this morally mor moribund mind of the majority of the inhabitants of the underground world? Whoa, somebody slap me. Say, I could use a picture break. How about you dudes? And then it puts in a picture. Like... Come on, focus. It's a picture of a plane. This is terrible. Where are we? Okay, so it turns out that 
Idaji is totally grandiose designs on taking I'm I'm not. What the hell? This jo this goes on for a whole nother page. Oh my god. Oh my god. Find the power. Seize the power. Where are we? Okay, so it turns out Idaji has totally grandiose designs on taking over a major chunk of California. Above <laughs> Above ground as well as below. And in the true spirit of know the, thy enemy, he decided to kidnap one of the undergrounders to find out all he can do to find out what we think, feel, and make weapons. This is the dumbest story ever. I keep looking at the wrong camera. I can't be mad if I'm looking at the wrong camera. Edigy decides that he wants to kidnap Allison's dad, a professor and the smartest guy on the West Coast, except that Allison's dad lives near the Hollywood Freeway, takes the Hollywood Freeway to work, works near the Hollywood Freeway, and basically hardly ever leaves the Hollywood Freeway. And as it happens, Edigy has this major public transportation advocacy thing, and there's no way he'll ever get near the Hollywood Freeway. So he kidnaps Allison instead, figuring that Allison's dad will be lured away from the Hollywood f freeway long enough to save his daughter. Turns out he was right. So dudes, now Edigy has both Allison and Allison's dad without having had to go anywhere near the Hollywood freeway. If I would have read this as a kid, I would have been so mad. I would have been so mad. He figures he has made an awesome start on taking over California. And he also figures someone will come after Allison and Allison's dad. So he sends out some of his totally grotesque underground friends who have very excellent names like Rubilia and Bicopter to various points along the route to his hideout. So by now, you've probably figured it out, right, dudes? Jake, with a little help from Zebediah, has to rescue Allison and Allison's dad. Only Jake's going to have to use his totally rad magic to totally wipe up the floor with Edigy. Totally grotesque friends. And as he makes his way towards Edigy, I know it's been a kind of a long story, but it's so real, you know. Later, dudes. Jesus. Have you ever read? Have you ever read the story to an owner's manual? And you're actually already done with the game? Like you're kind of you're kind of over the game already? Like I'm good. I'm good. I don't think I need to play this.